Just got a notification. What's going on? What's going on, chatters? What's up? <gasps> Boom! Oh man, my hair looks weird. Oh well, whatever. How's everybody doing? Listen to this dope music. It's time to play some. Freaking Elden Ring. Just went out for a walk. It's supremely hot outside. But that happens. It's a really down here. Let's get after it. Gives you two faith? The corpse head gives you two faith. And this one gives you two endurance. Those imp heads are pretty good. All right. Oh. Justin, thank you so much. Thank you so much for calling that out. It's a one day Brian will let us see the game. Here we go. Here we go. You must be getting the heat that's headed towards PA this weekend. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it is mid-90s uh, right now, and it is very, very, very warm. It's like a, it's a dry heat. It's like one of those situations where like you walk outside and it feels like the air is giving you a hug. It's not great. <laughs> Let's see, plus 20, plus 16. Interesting. I wonder if that scales. So the Nugget Keeper scales better with dex, but worse with intelligence. Mm. 
Man, maybe I should just keep doing the, uh... Keep doing the Uchigatana and the Moon Veil. But yeah, I, uh... I sympathize. Does it get really hot up in PA? I when uh, when I went up there to visit Chris, it was pretty nice, but it was also um, it was also like fall, so it uh, a lot of spots in Texas feel like they just have like kind of two seasons, and that's like summer and then spring. That's basically it. Like winter is basically spring. Fall is basically spring. And then there's just, it just, it's either, is it hot outside or is it not super hot outside? And if it's not super hot, it's still like fall weather, but it's only, it's only, uh, which I love. Like I love fall weather. Um, like uh, I grew up in California. Uh, and uh, I, I love it. Like, if it's sweater weather, I am very happy. Uh, I just, I wish it was sweater, sweater weather all the time. Uh, which kind of makes me wish that I still lived in, uh, in Northern California, like uh, outside of San Francisco and stuff. Um, it doesn't usually get above 90s, but hot months are often pretty humid. Yeah, that's the thing. I also, like, I live in Houston, but I don't live that close to the coast, so it, it, it gets humid, but the the ocean doesn't really cut into that too much because we're like several dozen miles, you know, inland. Um, um, which and, and another thing that sucks is it's not really safe to live that close to the ocean. Oh my god! Yo, dude, you come on. It's not really safe to live that close to the ocean because there are so many hurricanes. Um, and like, I don't know if you, if uh, if any of you in chat have um, have uh, have like read any of. Oh my God! What's his name? Eric Larson's books. Um, I think it's Eric Larson, but like um, Isaac Storm, or. Devil in the White City and stuff like that. Like he writes a lot of stuff about this, and he wrote one about uh, about the Galveston hurricane back in the day. And it was uh, it's it sucks, man. It uh, it like killed a lot of people. And the infrastructure down here is just not built for that volume of water, which really sucks. Um, Okay, so there's something over there I need to go get. I'll just face this. So let me go get that. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty brutal. Still hit me? Holy shit. These got these cursed rooftops. Looking forward to the summer months, let me tell you that. It is not pleasant.
Oh, remind me the next time I get to, uh... Remind me the next time I get to a side of grace to change to ambush shard. So how does this game compare to Bloodborne? I've been playing that gradually of late after giving a TV with faster response time and made it as far as the Cathedral Ward. Um, it's fast like Bloodborne, but a lot less linear. Um, I absolutely adore this game, and this game is the one that kind of uh, dethroned uh, Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 as my favorite in the series. Um, it's super, 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 super good. One thing that it does substantially better than Bloodborne is uh, build variety. You can pit, there are so many weapons. There are so many different types of spells and stuff that you can do, and virtually all of them are viable, uh, which is something that's not true in Bloodborne at all. Um, which was one of the biggest bummers, uh, to me. Um, but, uh, another thing is... I guess, like, you could, you could say the, the weapon art system, like, the Ashes of War system in this game is kind of like, what if you were able to take transform attacks from Bloodborne and just put them on whatever weapon you want? Um, like, that sort of a thing. So, like, this, um... I've got two katanas right here, right? I've got this one, which is Moonveil, and I've got two special attacks uh, that I can do out of this stance. I can hit the right bumper, and I can do a wide sweeping attack like that, or I can do the right trigger and do a ha hard-hitting, uh, like, stance-breaking, guard-breaking uh, overhead attack like that. Um, and that's the only thing that Moonveil can do. However, if I grip my uh, my Uchi Katana, which is just like a generic kind of weapon, I can put this ability on it, which is like this ice uh, cone that like stomps up and frostbites people. Or I can put uh, an, another attack on it where I just do multiple spinning attacks. Like you can really customize what you do in this game, and it's really, really cool. Um, so customization, uh, the amount of equipment and the amount of uh, of armor that you have in this game, um, you can cons you can like craft consumables. So like I have item crafting, uh, and it's like super easy to do. So like I can make I can make arrows. You know, um, you can also buy them, but you can but you can craft them as well. Uh, and there's just a bunch of stuff like. Uh, like your grease that you put on your weapons to do a specific type of damage, you can craft that if you get the right, if you buy the right, like, uh, crafting recipe books or find them out in the world, like, different stuff like that. Like, you can make fire bombs and things like that. Uh, you can make things that, like, cure your status effects and things like that. Like, it's, it's, uh, it's really good. Also, the, uh, like, I'm, you, there are probably most of the people that play through this game would never come out on these rooftops because they wouldn't think to do it. But there's a lot of traversal like that. Like, there's a lot of verticality uh, like that. It's also definitely... The, the setting is is certainly different. This is like a classic kind of Knights of the Realm type fantasy thing, whereas uh, that was... Um, that was like Georgian England, you know, as far as, as the setting is concerned. Which I actually prefer. I prefer the... Uh, the setting of Bloodborne and the and the world and of course you know the the big twists and stuff like that 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 is that is one way in which I think Bloodborne is still maybe the best thing that that From has ever done uh, but I think that in every other instance other than that I think uh, Elden Ring is vastly superior I don't think it's close I think Elden Ring is by leagues uh, the best thing that they have done in every area except where they kind of bested it in uh, in Bloodborne with like the, the reveals and the, the setting and the inspiration you know that they have for what's going on ooh golden great shield oh yeah 
Anyway, I know I went on for a long time, but, uh, but I hope that was useful. I'm also happy to answer any other questions that you have. I've thought a lot about this game. Also, uh, how how is it with a uh, with a lower latency TV? I uh, I've been playing a lot less of my PlayStation because my TV's input lag is kind of obnoxious, and playing on PC is just kind of spoiled me. Um, also, I don't have a PS4 anymore, and I I think I prefer PS4 to uh, PS5 just because. They just, they screwed, they screwed up some stuff, so I'm not a big fan of it. Oh, hello. This dude is a crucible knight. Yo, get me- Jesus Christ. You can't even dodge out of the way of that. That is so stupid. It was helpful, thanks. I haven't played any FromSoft games besides my limited experience with Bloodborne, but that's going better since I leveled up a lot. Went from an older 4K TV with 120 milliseconds latency. Wow, to an OLED with one millisecond. The biggest thing I realize is that it subverts the expectations of normal RPGs where you hoard consumables that don't use them. It really seems like you want to use them at any opportunity. Yeah, the, one of the biggest things about these games is that you carve out any edge that you can get. Um, and if that's, you know, with... Uh, if that's with consumables, like, um, like spending your... Spending your consumables, if that's with... Oh my god. Get bent, you fucking soft wimps. Um. Um. But yeah, that's one of the best things about this about this game is that there's there's so much self-expression. If you wanna if you wanna be a sneaky boy, you can do that. If you wanna be a slashy boy, you can do that. If you wanna be a smashy boy, you can do that. You can do all kinds of things, which is great. Please don't me die. I got 65,000 runes on the way. Yeah, if you haven't played many, um, haven't played any FromSoft games besides just that limited experience with Bloodborne. Man, if you like that, the other games in the series are a bit different. Uh, Bloodborne is kind of unique. Um, is a control scheme trigger heavy like Bloodborne? Curious how it'll feel on Steam Deck since the bumper buttons aren't quite as nice feeling. Uh, yeah, it is. So, like, your regular attack is, uh, 
is R1. Uh, R2 is like your secondary attack. Um, your um, I'm power stancing. Uh, so I'm actually going to uh, two-hand this so I can show you. But uh, L1 is block, either with a shield or with your weapon. And then uh, L2 is your weapon art or Ash of War. Or your shield ability if you're wearing a shield that has uh, that has an ability, like parry is on is on there as well. Um, okay, I think it was up there. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, so I need to go upstairs and then I can drop down. Okay. Yeah, in in many ways it is similar. Um, one big difference that I'm sure you'll appreciate uh, going from Bloodborne to this is that. Uh, this game, like every other game in the Souls series, does not use blood vials that are consumable. Uh, you have a set number of uh, flask charges, and those charges uh, refill every time you die or uh, every time you visit and sit down at a side of grace. So uh, that is a huge, huge difference, and one of my biggest gripes with... Uh, with, uh, with Bloodborne is that they required you to like farm those sorts of things uh, which I, I think is a mistake I think that's actually bad design um, they shouldn't make you farm your heals that's a big thing that, uh, that Dark Souls has never made you do and that was a step in the wrong direction fucking die. God, I hate those guys. Ooh, upper class robe. Hell yeah. Yeah. Found a pretty quick way to farm blood vials back up to max. Yeah, that's true, but that's there's so much else that the game asks you to do that it shouldn't ask you to do that as well. What was it? Upper class robes? What did I get? Oh, upper class robe. I already had it. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that that's that's a, a major uh, downside uh, to the game because particularly um, particularly late in the game, that can be really you'll really feel the pinch uh, because late in the game there really aren't that many good spots to farm, uh, and you'll do like a really challenging encounter and. You know, you won't be able to to do anything uh, about it. You'll just run out, and then you'll be screwed and have to leave and go someplace else, and it's, it's not good. It's not good. Yeah, 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 yeah. The early ogres, that's a that's a, uh, that's a, a popular farming spot because they can drop, like, four each, um, which is nice. But, again, you, you really shouldn't have to do that. It should just recharge to 20 every time you... Uh, Every time you come back to life, although I do, I I do find it interesting the the interplay that they had between that and the click, the quicksilver bullets, where you could actually burn. Um, you could burn. What was it? Could you burn some of your health to get more bullets? So you could basically kind of effectively always have that sort of a thing if you were willing to uh, to sacrifice your healing. You could always have projectiles for parries and things. But in these sorts of games, uh, parry is like something that you bind, something that's either bound to like a, a parrying dagger uh, weapon or a shield. So you don't actually shoot and interrupt to parry. Although you can increase your poise in this game and use like really hard hitting or heavy uh, damage attacks to like interrupt your enemies. So there are different, there are like ways to do that sort of a thing. It just kind of functions a little bit differently. It works a little bit differently. Be wary of decoy.
Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. That freaked the shit out of me. That must be what they meant about the deep boy. They must have been talking about this guy. Golden Rune 9. No, no, no! I do not like you lunging and grabby types. I do not like them. Gravel stone. Great. Another consumable item. I've mostly been ignoring the gun and keeping the torch out. Man, you are playing a different way than me. You and I play totally differently. Stone sword key. Which gun did you get? Did you get the blunderbuss or the regular uh, hunter's pistol? They're both really great for different reasons. Okay, I'm actually going to come back here later and kill that uh, crucible guy real quick. I say real quick when I die last time. Ooh, about to be able to level up. Avenue Balcony. I bet you. I have two out of three of them at this point. I forget which, but I did just get that sword that some article claimed to be the best weapon in the game. Is it uh, Ludwig's Holy Blade? Because if so, yes. Yep. Yep. That is definitely my favorite weapon in the game. It's extremely good. It's extremely good. Please lead back up to the top, to that gate right by the grace. And have a door at the top here that I can open. Is it? Hell yes! We freaking live. Excellent. Yeah, Ludwig's Holy Blade, if I had to say what the best weapon of the game is, that's the one that I would say. Although I also think that a really good argument could be made for just the uh, saw cleaver. Just like the regular ass saw cleaver that you get at the beginning of the game. That weapon is ridiculous. So good. Boom, I am showing this dude what for. Holy shit. Got him. Oh, baby. If somebody could clip that, that, that must be a new record for me killing these guys. Heroes Room 5. Hell yes. Whoop. Heroes, Rune 5, and we got enough to level up, which means it's time for me to put on my goofy hat and start one-shotting people. All right, we're going to go up here and level up. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, ladies, yeah.
Okay. 52 intelligence, which means we can now use this goaded weapon. We can now use Lusats without wearing anything else. And 60 I need for the Carrion Royal Scepter. Nice. Blessings be upon you, Smoke. 52. Lou Sats, 243. 231. Okay, well that means we're gonna have to downsize our equipment load. God, we gotta... Ugh. Okay, let's see. Let's think, let's think about this. Let's think about this. Okay. I've got 52 intelligence, which means if I want to get to 60, which is what I need for... spell. Oh, yeah, Magic Glint Blade. We don't need this. We need Ambush Shard. Or Night Comet. And then... Sixty, yeah, we need sixty for Comet Azor. Hmm. We need sixty for Comet Azor, which means I need at least. Hmm. Sixty for Comet Azor, sixty for the Carrion Royal Scepter. Which means I need either to swap this out for one of these bad boys and then get two more levels. Basically, beat need to be naked. Let's see. Bach, you around here? All right. Bok, this is ready to make. Let's make some adjustments, my friend. Page guard. Everything is too heavy, so we're just gonna We're 
just gonna adjust everything and see what we can do. Please. See if we can wear some cool stuff. Man, we still have like no options. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Aubrich's robe. That's not too bad. This helmet looks freaking stupid, though. God, if only you could hide your helmet then I wouldn't have to look like a freaking idiot. But yeah, I think if you like, uh, I think if you like, uh, if you like Bloodborne, you'd, you'd probably like this. Um, these games are all really, really good. What do you, uh, what do you have? I'm assuming you have, uh, at least a PS4. Do you have a PS5? Are you are you at all interested in Demon Souls? I would definitely not play anything else until you finish Bloodborne. But uh, these games have a way of kind of sneaking their way into your brain, all wormy like, and making you just think about them. For example, I've already platinumed this this game on PS5. I'm just playing it on PC because and getting to 100% because it's another thing for me to do in the game. I have a solid PC, PS5, Xbox Series X console hoarder. Yeah, 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 that's me. And I got, you know, got my Switch right here. I don't have an OLED like Chris, but, uh, but I do also, uh, ride the Switch train. Although you, you, you watch the show, so you definitely are aware. You definitely know about my handheld predilections. I am I am thirsty for portable gaming all the time, basically. Okay. Um, oh, there's a thing right here. Uh, I guess run up here, and jump off. Do you have a place that you like prefer to uh, to play games? This is a question I ask uh, I ask people. Uh, because I find their answers really interesting. Oh, Jesus. I don't have time. So I think zone four. I'm always curious where people prefer to play and for what reasons. For me, controller is like a big, uh, is a big thing. Uh, controller comfort is one of the main reasons why I'm not primarily playing on uh, PS5 this year or this uh, this generation because I I do not like the dual sense. I find it really uncomfortable, which sucks, but it happens. I prefer playing on my PC generally, but don't always have the availability to hide away in my office to do so. Yeah. Uh, that's a big thing for me is like after I'm done with work, I don't necessarily want to just spend more time in my office where I do work um, or stream now, you know, like I'm streaming. So like, I don't necessarily just want to sign off of streaming and just stay where I'm at. I like, I like hanging out with my wife and uh, she's typically upstairs, like on the couch, like watching something on the, on the series X or something. And so I like to, to have something up there. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm also definitely a PC dude. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so excited about the steam deck is because the ability to just sit down somewhere and just do something and just pick it up with me. If I want to be on the couch or something, like it's just totally going to be fine. That's what I want. I hope that it lives up to it, man. I really, really do. Toddlers, man. Yep. Toddlers are wild. Mine is currently sleeping and we will see how much longer that lasts. Um, I think let's just go down that lift. 
My use case for my Steam Deck is to play games on the couch while the three-year-old watches TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is... That is the way. I feel a little silly running around in, without any shoes on. Okay, there we go. That looks... That looks very respectable. Other than the stupid hat. to wear thigh-high boots. You know I gotta take it. You know I gotta take it. That looks pretty clean, actually. Go figure. Making sets in this game and making them look good. Fashion souls. Or Elden Bling, as they call it. Black Bow. Let's read this one and see if it makes a reference to Ferris. Black bow. Long bow carved from black wood to resemble a blade. One of the most difficult bows to master. This blade-like body of the bow is light and cuts through the air. Though a long bow, it can be wielded similarly to a short bow. That's nice. No mention of Ferris. Interesting. I mean, I guess they wouldn't necessarily have, but I just always love seeing that sort of a cross-series love. Okay. Oh. You gonna give it to me? Okay, Golden Room plus 12. Um... Know something ahead. I think I've gotten everything over here already. Yeah, another reason I really uh, like having, um... oh shit, or I could do this. Intelligence 63, if I've got a rune arc on, I can use those staffs. This room really reminds me of Dark Souls 2. Oh, did you see that? Gilded Foot Soldier Cap. Jumped over him and oh, what -de da Clarifying boluses. Hey, zombie boy. 
poor lady. Alright. Hell yeah, it's a chest. Stone sword key. I've got so many fucking things like that you won't believe. Let's climb up and see what's going on. That's a cool ceiling. I forget the name of that type of ceiling, but I like it a lot. It's cool. Oh, we're opening the door into a hidden room, you see. Oh, this loops back around to the lightning thing. Where the guys are shooting the lightning bows. Yeah, right here, right here, right here. We're going to have to come explore this place again. But not right now. Will I survive this drop? Yeah, probably. I think I got everything over here. Okay. It's time to go over here. Let us see what we have. What are you worshiping, bud? Dodge, dodge, Jesus Christ. That's going to hurt a lot. A lot, a whole lot. I'd like to dodge, good sir. Stop. How huge of a hitbox does that stupid thing have? Got it. Oof. Clean. Very clean. Golden Sea. We'd love to see a golden arrow. Smithing stone six, broken arrow. Broken gold, gold finger. Gold member. Trade your gold for cash. Tree technology is light years above yours. Visions of precious item. Ah, uh, okay. Now down there, I can go over here. Okay, we'll go over here first. Oh, hello. Oh, jeez. 
Jesus. Cracked pot. Be wary of strong foe. The ladder. Grace ahead. Hell yeah. Oh, awesome. And more spiders. More fingy spiders. Can I sneak? Race more sweet, sweet items. Let's take a bit of a rest. Ooh, Lionel's helm. Greaves, Lionel's Gauntlets, Lionel's Armor, Lionel Helm. Deathbed Dress. All right, let's read these. Round iron helm with a large distinctive brim worn by Lionel the Lionhearted. When this chivalrous, dauntless knight met Fia, who had been driven from her home, he declared himself to be her father. Cool stuff. So that's the stand-in for the Onion Knight stuff. Deathbed dress, extremely thin and sheer white dress worn by the deathbed companion as she embraces the dead. Slowly replenishes the HP of nearby allies, but not that of the wearer. The touch of the fabric is exceedingly soft so as not to harm even the most withered corpse while still sharing her warmth. I like that a lot. It's too bad that it doesn't slowly recover your health as well, because that would be very, very good. Omen Smirk Mask. Mask with long, hideously twisted horns worn by the Omen Killers increases strength. Ooh, increases strength by two. Bears the smirking face of an elder twisted in wicked delight. This visage is carved in the image of the evil spirits that haunt the Omen in their nightmare. Damn, that's pretty brutal, dude. So you're gonna go hunt these guys wearing the face of their nightmares? It's kind of fucked up, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did not expect that to be a drop. I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> I did not expect that to be an actual drop.
poison, bone, dark. I wonder if these guys are weak to poison. Find out. I guess they're not that, they're not that uh, susceptible. String? Oh, these guys. These guys suck. These guys do a grab move that takes like 95% of your life away. Probably keep wearing the uh, the golden scarab until I hit 125, and then I'll just switch to something else. So I'm not that far away. Ah, oh, dang it! I missed something. Probably a trap. Maybe some butterfly. Maybe not. I hear a scarab. Drop down there, or I can explore over here. Summer Spinning Stone 4, Lost Ashes of War. Try Fire. Oh, okay. I've never tried Fire against these guys. Okay, and then this next right is the way out, I think? Yeah, this next right is the way out, and then this one over here is... Uh, Exploring ever deeper. Bird Steel Dagger. Interesting. I've already gotten one of these from our buddy Kenneth Height. Which means now I have two. An Erd Steel Dagger with a crest. Uh, grass crest engraved upon its blade, carried by the Erd Tree royalty for self defense in times of peace. Though forged to a high standard, this weapon is difficult to wield. Attack power also scales with faith.
Ah. Okay, so that leads up here. Facing just whoa. Hello. These boys just sat back down. <laughs> They're like, ah, this guy doesn't care about us. Let's just vibe. Oh, cool. Oh, I bet I could jump off and get that thing. Uh, it's probably over here. That thing that I saw. Thunderbolts. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh my god. Oh my god, those guys are terrifying. That grab attack does so much damage. Alvin Rock Blood Clot. Okay, we got, uh, what is it? Golden. Is it Thunderbolt? of War Thunderbolt. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Okay, there's something that leads down. Oh, weird. I wonder if those guys, those hooded guys are Albinorics. 
That'd be really sad, actually. I hope that's not true, but it probably is. Trail ahead, right, and then hidden path ahead. Why do your arms have to clip through the cloak? Come on, guys. Subterranean shunning ground. These guys are real stinkers. Grace. Nice, okay. Well, this is a different sub area, so we'll save this for a different day. But I think I did just get this. Actually, let me go back. We'll go back to uh, the raw table real quick. Take a hydration break. We'll see what sort of upgrade stuff 
these need. Well, I took you for no man to lay out your own. Somber smithing. Okay. Somber smithing six. Two thirty seven. Well, that's actually going to help quite a bit then. And it actually weighs quite a bit less too. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. And I have a shield. Not bad at all. <clears throat> and we got a new staff. Uh, or rather, I picked up an old staff that's supposed to be better... Scaling than uh, what I've got going on, which is good. We got a cool aesthetic going on. Better jump attacks. Better equipment. Feeling good. Feeling very good. Hmm. 
First talk weak foe, and then try behind. Guilty hood. Dang, I one shot them with my new. Summer spinning stone four. Okay, so I'm not going down there anymore because that is where the sub subterranean bit is. But I'm done over there. I think I'm done over here. Although there is something that clearly. Hmm. There is something that clearly leads back over there. Lower Capital Church. Hmm. Which one is this? is oh okay that's where this is so that leads up here i feel like there's some spots where we still have not explored up here i don't super want to kill all these people again but i feel like we need to check the corners this might be a scenario where i just need to move on to the next area or like the next section of this area and then just come back if I get to the end and there's some checks, checklist stuff that's not here. Do I feel like I went over here? I feel like I did all this stuff. Ooh, maybe I'm wrong. difficult to fight these guys. Summer smithing stone. Six beast blood old fang. more over here. 
Golden Room 10. Heroes Room 2. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I'll make note of that. Leather draped tabard. God. Tree surcoat. Swan's boat. Okay, so I think I can hop on some rooftops over here. I think I went over there, and I think I got all that stuff. Humor gloves, hell yeah. 
we are getting random drops. It's going to make things a lot easier for when I have to go back and clear out all those uh, chance to drop stuff and I'm just farming people constantly. Not looking forward to that part of the run. But by then I'll have the uh, Silver Scarab, which will be nice. Creature, therefore try bow. I'll do one bow. Oh. Somber Smithing Stone 5. Golden Rune 11. Pretty sure I've been through there. All of those places down here. Oh, there is something down there. Okay. I can do a running jump and get that. Stone Sword Key. going to die. Oh my god. Please don't die. Oh shit. Oh my god. I cannot believe I didn't die there. Holy shit. Give me my heals. Give me my heals, bro. Man, this is... Tits! Humor Hood, let's go! Let's get it. I think I've got like half the perfumer set already. Shortcut ahead. Hello! Shortcut. Hell yeah, and I was just out of all my stuff. And I was just out of all my stuff. That's cool. Okay. So I think that that means that I've gotten all the stuff from around here. And 
I think that also means that I've probably gotten everything from here. Yeah, I think that was everything up there. Which means we've pretty much cleared out this area. God, sometimes it is really hard to keep everything in your head in this game. Um, so then what? We would need to go up there. Go through that gate and then clear out this whole area. Next, probably. Yeah, probably that down this whole area and then up here. Okay. Come on, boys. Bless the jump attacks. Jump attacks, jump attacks. Radioactive jump attacks. Purple thing. That's armor. Ooh, gravity, s gravel stone seal. What? Sacred seal made from gravel stone, thought to be an ancient dragon scale. Enhances dragon cult incantations of the royal capital. The worship of the ancient dragons does not conflict with belief in the Erd Tree. After all, this seal and lightning itself are both imbued with gold. Oh, hello. Well, that didn't really work. Lane Del Night Greaves, man, I am hitting it up. Yeah, but having to remember things gives that old school feeling like I remember from EverQuest back in the day. Yeah, I do, I do, uh, I do like that. That's uh, in a game that doesn't have map markers or Lane Del Night Greaves. In a game that doesn't have, like, traditional Mac markers and waypoints and all that sort of garbage, um, it is really fun. It is really cool. And, like, spaces are kind of built out in this game in a way that's unusual, which I really like. I think that's really... Uh, I think that's valuable. And I feel like that's why these games are so special to so many people, including myself. When, like, you just kind of can't 
get this sort of experience anywhere else. There's From really doesn't have any competition. There have been a lot of imitators. There have been a lot of people who have tried to do it in like or like in a different space or a different um, kind of theme. Like um, like Code Vein was kind of trying to do this, except it was anime, you know, titty vampires and fan service and scantily clad people and all that sort of stuff. Which, like, I respect in its own way, but it's not the same. It's, like, kind of goofy or it's not meant to take itself too seriously or it's supposed to be, like, grim, dark, but, like, maybe a little bit tongue-in-cheek and stuff, whereas uh, Elden Ring and the Souls games are just very... They just kind of offer you an experience that you kind of take on its own terms and it, you're not really going to get anywhere else, which I like. I don't necessarily think that, that rarity makes something better. Like, I don't think that these games are better because nobody else does them, but I think that does make them uh, a little bit more special. And that makes these feel like events. Like, if everybody was doing this, if I, if I, if they were like shooters and it was like, okay, well, I love shooters, but, uh, Bungie makes a good shooter with Destiny and id makes a good shooter with Doom and Machine Games makes a good shooter with Wolfenstein and the Call of Duty people, all those studios make good shooters and the Battlefield people generally make good shooters. Like, there's just so many places to get that fix. Whereas, like, with 3D action games, like, there's nothing that really feels like this. You get other 3D action games, but they scratch different itches, you know? Like, God of War is a 3D action game in a way, you know? Um, but, like, none of those... Like, those games don't feel like this. So. I don't know why I started talking about this. But. Also, EverQuest is very back in the day. I was not... My first uh, MMO was actually uh, WoW. Which I'm sure I'm sure that was the case for many people, but... Um, First off, look carefully and then seek here again. Hmm. First off, confusion or madness? Seems familiar ahead, all the more be wary of sadness. Oh. Oh. No anvil here. Sanctified wet blade. Can be used uh, using physical or golden type ashes of war. An additional affinity of sacred or lightning can be chosen. Hammer. Hammer comprised of a large stone affixed to a metal handle, originally a blacksmith's tool. The art of smithing is said to have originated among the giants. This weapon's striking attack boasts ample weight behind them. Cliff ahead. Smithing stone six. By my sword.
hero's rune one. Table's gone dark. Rune arc. Smithing stone five. No edge ahead. Edge lord. <laughs> Seabed curse. Coded sword. Hidden sword once granted to the tarnished of the round table by the two fingers. All right, dinner time on my head out. Cool. Yeah, I think we're going to end the stream uh, pretty soon. But thanks for hanging around. And have a nice dinner. A formless cipher comprises its blade, which deals holy damage no shield can repel. Champions would gather at the round table hold in days long past when the two fingers were masters of oration, their flesh yet full of vigor. Two Fingers Prayer Book. Prayer Book containing incantations of the Two Fingers. An item once trusted to Tarni, uh, to Tarnish to Tarni, worsh, uh, worthy of Lordship can be given to a learned cleric to gain access to the following incantation. Lord's heal, Lord's aid. Ahead. Oh, hello. Flightless bird painting. 
Oh, I bet I know where that is. I bet that's near the uh, windmills. Flightless a bird. Door head. Nice. Yeah, I think we'll probably finish this corner and then that'll be it for today. If only I had a lover, why is it always lover? Here. Time for luring out and then visions of fat coin purse. Seek rolling, except behind. Seventeen thousand, hell yeah. First off, ranged battle. Somber Smith and Stone Six. Only 3,000? That other one was big money comparatively. He's still alive. Absolutely he's still alive. What's up, Will? How you doing? We've been cleaning it out. Stormhawk axe. Man's just got home from his last day of finals. You'd love to see it. We've got a lot of stuff. We've made a lot of progress. Stormhawk Axe. And I took out a Crucible Knight in record time. And I think it's clipped. So. Stormhawk Axe. Battle Axe. Designed to resemble a hawk with its wings comprising the blade. A signature weapon of warriors who strive to remain one with the storm despite being so far from their place of birth. Their hearts are proud and thereby easily undone. Thunderstorm. Imbue the armament's wing blade with lightning and swing it around to create a tempestuous lightning storm. Follow up with an additional input to perform up to two spinning attacks. The lightning will stay on the blade for a while. That's pretty cool. And I believe that is reminiscent of something that I heard um, uh, What's-Her-Face say, Nefeli. Now, I will say, uh, Will, the, we are not long for this stream because it's been almost two hours already. So the stream, the stream is not long for this world, however. Uh, and largely, the stream is not long for this world largely because... I'm going to be playing uh, Multiverses, which I suppose we could also stream, but I've not played it at all before, so I don't necessarily want to stream like my first experience with it because I don't think that's going to be fun for anybody. Maybe it will be. Maybe it will be fun for people, but who knows? Who knows? Somebody's clearly kiting. 
But that's not what we're gonna do. No siree. God. Ha, ha, ha. I thought he was gonna, uh... No, no, no. You don't get to throw me off the edge. No, sir. Thunder, Thundercats. Ho! Okay. So we went through here. We went through here. I guess let's travel. Let's see where this takes us. Literally the middle of the ocean. Isolated divine tower. It's tightly blocked shut. Huh. going to put that there so that I remember that this has not been used. Uh, yeah, Fortified Manor. We cleared the left, we cleared the right. I think I could climb up there. I'm trying to remember how I got up there. Oh, I bet it was crawling up the avenue balcony. Going past and running up that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get myself positioned for the next stream, and then I'm probably going to sign off because we did a lot of stuff. Actually, is that enough to level up? Not quite, but I probably have enough of these. Picked up quite a few. 15. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll it precisely do it. Hell yeah. Very nice. Well, while I'm doing this, um, you can check out all the stuff that I've got going on in the uh, stuff below. If you're watching and chilling, please throw me a follow or a subscribe here or on YouTube um, because I'm trying to get up to affiliate, which would be dope because then I can do channel point rewards and all that sort of stuff and we can have a little bit more fun. Um, and, uh, other than that, yeah, just, uh, check out what I do on, uh, Monday evenings at twitch.tv slash platformers pod and, uh, follow me on Twitter at Ribnax, all that sort of stuff. All the links should be in the, uh, should be in the description. And then, uh, I guess just watch the, uh, VOD on YouTube. Um, hopefully once I, fingers crossed, once I get enough followers over there, I'll be able to get, uh, youtube.com slash Ribnax, which would be amazing. Uh, but yeah, 
thanks a bunch for chilling and uh, for chatting. And I'll catch you next time. And maybe I'll stream multiverses later. Let me know if you guys want that. But uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.